What's in the box is back, my friends, and this time with NECA's Toonie Terror's Ash figure from Evil Dead 2. And I've got to say, Evil Dead 2 is by far one of my favorite horror comedies. I'm not a huge fan of the first, I get it, and I'm, I'm a fairly big fan of Army of Darkness, but it's still not quite Evil Dead 2. I think this is, in a lot of ways, perfection in my eyes, and uh, I couldn't wait to get this figure in hand and uh, kind of review the chin himself, Bruce Campbell. Um, so yeah, let's dig into the figure as always. Our display background, again character specific, thankfully. Um, we have, of course, the psychotic deer that appeared in the movie, but not a lot of other things is exact in this. I think maybe the background here, the wood slats. I don't specifically remember the fireplace, so it's close enough, I think. Let's go ahead and crack open the figure. Again, we're going to cut the clamshell and avoid uh, destroying the card itself. Alright, there we go. Go like that. Well, it started to peel a little bit there, but uh, no big deal. Put that aside. Uh, Alright, the figure itself. Okay, this one is a little more loosely packed in, into, into the clamshell, so we won't have any issues getting him out, I don't think. There he is, and his shotgun right here. Good stuff. <clears throat> now let's throw his shotgun in his trusty sheath on his back. Figure stands well on his own. No problems there. Uh, let's see what we have. We have the standard articulation in the hips, shoulders, we have wrist articulation, maybe? Okay, yeah. So we've got wrist articulation in the chainsaw, which is nice. The hand. And we have a fairly decent back and forth, side to side pivot for his head. Alright, so paint wise, we're looking at a decent paint job. Again, really, really clean. Uh, no, no major problems there whatsoever. Uh, black hair, skin tone, whole nine yards. Oh, we do have, uh, for once, we have a pivot right here in his uh, elbow, and I'm sure that's so he can uh, hold his boom stick. Yeah, so we have that in hand. Good deal. Uh, the sheath for the gun seems to be made. I was going to say vinyl, but it seems like a tougher plastic. But it has some flex to it. <clears throat> the chainsaw is pretty plain, straightforward black gray paint. I would have really liked to have seen some blood on that chainsaw. It's a little too clean for Evil Dead 2. Uh, it needs a good splattering of blood. That would be a nitpick. As far as the rest of Ash, he's got some nicks in his face here. And he does have a couple little bits of paint along this sleeve. I don't see it on the other sleeve at all. Yeah, I would have much preferred the figure to be a little bit bloodier. There might be a bloody variant. I don't know. They did that with some of the Toonie Terrors, but I can't remember if it was this one. I think it was, but uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, so pretty good, pretty good. Shirt's nice and blue. Pants, he's, he's got a, a nice little rip in the cuff of his pants there. Overall, fairly clean. The sculpt, it captures Bruce to a certain degree. This could be Bruce's cousin, <laughs> Brent, <laughs> but um, it's close enough, I guess. But yeah, it's a cool little little figure. 
you know, like I said, he stands well on his own, and you can do a few little, a few little poses. I don't know why he'd want his chainsaw that far back into the into the sky, but uh, yeah. So neat little figure, and like like I mentioned, I I love the movie. Um, <laughs> there's just so many little scenes and quotable things that I continue to remember to this day, and of course I watch it nearly every year at least once. Because it's it's just other than American Werewolf, which was a much darker horror comedy. When I think of horror comedy, I go straight to Evil Dead Two. I love Bruce and that. I love what he does with the character. I love all the weird little gags of Henrietta in the cellar and <laughs> just just all of it. It's it's just a great movie in my eyes. But. Um, Hopefully you enjoy a look at this figure, picks at the end, but uh, as always, thanks for hanging out. Oh, you thought I was gone. I'm not. I'm hanging around. Because I stupidly forgot this little thing. So, there we are. The figure in front of his display. I think it uh, looks pretty good. Anyway, catch you next time.